Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be talking about my hair and my hair process. So on Instagram, I asked my friends if I should go pink or rednecks and they all said hot pink. So before I let my purple fade out, I wanna talk about how I got this hair and like the hair process, my hair journey, um, all things hair. So stay tuned if you wanna know how I got the color I have right now. So before my hair was all bleached and dyed and stuff like this, I had really healthy, virgin, Asian, silky hair. It was really thick, I had a lot of hair, um, it didn't break really easily, and again, it was virgin hair, meaning that I never got it um, dyed or bleached before. So in December, I knew I wanted to go purple, and I also knew that I needed to bleach my hair to do that because my hair was dark. Um, you can't just put the purple on top and expect it to be vibrant. So I knew I had to get it bleached. I went in, and by, by then my hair was this long. Yeah, it was but it was just black and it was just virgin hair. So uh, she bleached my hair. It was, she didn't bleach my roots. I definitely didn't want, want my roots bleached because I was afraid that my hair was gonna be all gone. So the majority of the bleach was down here, but then she also did streaks of um, the bleach uh, further up my hair so it could look like a more natural fade opposed to just like a block. And that's nasty, girl. Do not get a block of bleached hair. I'll show you how yucky and yellow and gross the bleach was. She wasn't going to give me that natural bleach look, like, as if I was going to try blonde hair. All she needed to do was lighten my hair um, so she can put the color in it. So that's how it looked. And I know it looked pretty gross. It looked pretty ratchet. It was really brassy, but it was just enough to get the color in. And that bleach took a kind of long while, like maybe an hour or more. I showed her a picture of what I wanted, and it was a like purple magenta. The purple wasn't cool toned, it was more warm toned, meaning like red undertones and stuff like that. So what she did is she started with red dye first. Um, she started at my roots all the way to the bottom, so my roots were dyed even though they weren't um, bleached. It did show up because the thing about red dye, it shows up really well even with dark hair, and it also lasts really well. I really want to stick with warm tone colors because I know cool tone colors like blue and green, they fade out really fast and um, like my money's gonna be gone. It's all gonna be faded out. So I did stick with a warm tone purple. She did the red under and then she went purple on top. So by then, my hair was warm. It was really pretty. I'll show you a picture of the final result. My hair took maybe three, maybe in three to five hours. I don't remember, it was a while ago. But it did take a long time just for my hair to um, take in the color. She also like waved it and curled it and all that stuff so it looked really pretty by the end. I was really surprised at how vibrant it looked even at the roots, like, cause I didn't bleach my roots. I wasn't expecting it to be super vibrant as it was. I was just expecting like a, a slight tint that you would just see in the sun. But even in the salon lighting, like the regular room lighting, it looked pretty good. So I also bought this purple shampoo. It's the viral purple wash because I knew purple shampoo or colored shampoo would help uh, the longevity of my hair because I knew I wouldn't be able to afford like touch-ups every once in a while. So I just got the purple shampoo to test out how that would work. So with that really vibrant purple, I would only wash my hair once a week. And that sounds crazy, but that's honestly what I had to do to keep my hair looking good. I did upkeep it with like dry shampoo and stuff and I wouldn't really touch my hair. I wouldn't really use products in it to keep it tacky and stuff. I just wash it once a week. And what I would do, I would use this purple shampoo and I would use cold water. I usually take really hot showers, but I knew if I was gonna wash my hair with hot water, the purple would fade faster. And they say something about like the the hot water opening up your hair follicles and it's easier for your your color to fade out. I honestly don't know like the scientific thing about it but that's what I researched and was what I saw on like YouTube videos when I was trying to prepare for this purple hair. So I washed it with cold water and I did this. I would wash it alone with this just like regular shampoo and I would only do it once and that didn't really work out with me because alone with this shampoo my hair would be really tacky and I think that's just because the dye in it um, like it wasn't a regular shampoo where your hair would feel really clean and stuff. It just felt kind of tacky by the end of it. I soon figured out the right way to do it and I'll show you guys at the end. So I had that purple hair for maybe a month. Like that vibrant purple hair for maybe a month and then it started to fade. It went from like a purple to a red to a pink and then by the end of it, it was a pretty ratchet looking orange I want to say. 
it wasn't really nasty. Like, I'll show you pictures of how it was. Like, it was still manageable, but I knew I wanted to get it touched up. So in April, I wanted to get it redone. So I went back to the salon and I wanted to get that original purple I had. So by then, my hair was grown out to the roots and the purple red tinting was still there, even though my hair wasn't bleached in that area. And then I had this part bleached and my hair by then was grown out to maybe here. So in April, I got it redone and it basically didn't work out as I planned. I wanted to go back to the original purple and the thing was that my hair wasn't light enough. It wasn't as light as that lion yellow hair um, original bleach I had because it still had the color in it. So I couldn't go um, as vibrant as I wanted. I ended up with a really pretty rustic red after all. It was a pretty natural red. It was more like a brown red. And I'll show you pictures of that. And she also cut my hair. So she cut off a lot of the bleach. And it felt really good, honestly. So I recommend if you're going to keep touching up your hair, ask her to trim little bits of it off. Um, and just maintain that. Keep trimming it because your hair is going to feel healthier by the end. So I had that red for maybe a month. And it started to fade again. So it started to fade. It faded pretty nicely. It went from like a brown red to more brown. And then it started to fade back to the bleach. Like to a, an orangey rustic um, warm tone. It started turning really warm. And that's when I started using the purple shampoo again. Because I figured if my hair is light, I might as well try going to purple. That's when I figured out how to get the purple I'm doing right now. So this is this is basically what I'm talking about. This is when I started um, putting in the purple shampoo. These are my natural roots right here. And then if you can see this kind of the brownish, the lighter part on top, that is just the purple reddish tinting of my hair. This part's not actually bleached. Um, it's just how well the red tinted my hair. And then this part is where it's actually bleached. And right now, um, I just took it out of braids so it might be a little frizzy, but it's a lot healthier than what it was. And it's a really pretty purple. It is a cool tone purple because this, the purple shampoo is cool tone, so it has that blue undertaking, um, undertone. So I'm just going to show you guys my hair routine. So first of all, I wash only my roots. So I try to keep the shampoo out of the tips of my hair because the more shampoo you put on the tips of your hair, the more it's going to wash out. I use the shampoo I was talking about earlier. The uh, shampoo is the Fade the Five Vibrant Color Shampoo um, by the Pantene Expert Collection. And this is just like the salt fate free and all that good stuff that's good for color treated hair. So I put that in my hair and then I wash it out right away um, after I scrub and all that stuff, you know. And then the second time I wash it, I put this and this together. So I get some of the regular shampoo in, in my palm, and then I put some of the purple in. I swirl it in and then it turns out purple, and then I wash it throughout my hair. Um, and I wash my hair twice because all the hair professionals say that you the first time you wash it is just when you're moving around the dirt. And the second time you wash it is when you um, wash out all the dirt. And I do find that evident because when I just wash it twice, I do feel like it's dirty and I can see some of like the dirt still in there. So I do feel better when I wash it twice. And now I wash my hair not once a week, but every time I really need it. So maybe like... Um, every other day or usually it's, there's like a two-day gap so I'll wash it and then wait two days and then wash it again it's really just when my hair is greasy and I feel like I should just wash it and then after that I think what's most important is the conditioner you can use any conditioner out there but I recommend one that's um, for color treated hair like this one so right now I'm using the Suave Professionals Moroccan infused color care conditioner um, for color treated and dull hair I really like this one because it has that Moroccan fuse, so it does keep my hair really soft. I didn't know how important conditioner was back when I had that virgin dark hair, but now that my hair is bleached and it's a little more damaged, conditioner is really what keeps it soft. So this is what I do. I get some, um, and I keep it on the tips because you don't want to put conditioner in your roots because I heard that it makes it more greasy. And then I get some of this. I squirt a little, like maybe this much. And then I run it through one side and I really try to get it evenly dispersed so I'll sort of like rub it in and stuff like that. And sometimes I even bring it up to here because of this um, stained part of my hair. And then I go in again and do the other side. And then I just roll it up in the back and then clip it 
that way it doesn't wash out while I'm washing the rest of my body. And you want to keep that in for as long as you can because that's really what soaks in the color. Back when I had that really vibrant hair, I was using it wrong. First of all, I was only washing with this so my hair didn't feel as clean. So now the trick is to use both. And I would just put it in and wash it out like regular shampoo. And that honestly does nothing for you. It's kind of a waste of product if you're doing it like that. You need to keep it in um, for as long as you can. Or even just like longer than usual. Because it's, it's a dye basically. And that's what gets my hair where it is now. And I'm really happy with my hair now. But I'm just running out of the purple shampoo. So I decided that uh, why not switch it up. So I'm going hot pink. So I'm just going to let this color fade out by washing it without... Um, any color treatment and stuff like that and seeing how that goes. My hair does have a lot more movement than it did back when it was fully bleached. And I think that's because um, it's just healthier, you know? So hopefully if you're planning to get hair or if you're just wondering how I got my hair, um, this helped you. So some tips if you're planning to color your hair. If you're planning to get your hair colored like my kind of color, like a blue or a green or a pink or a purple. No, it's not going to last forever because the dye is only semi-permanent opposed to a permanent hair dye. So you are going to have to upkeep it and it does call for maintenance. So the best thing I would recommend is the color shampoo. And they have this in a lot of colors in this brand. And I think you can only buy this from people that have a beauty license. And I think they also sell it on Amazon too. And it is like $26 on Amazon or something. Depends where you get it. So some tips are to use that shampoo, a colored shampoo, and also condition your hair. That's very important if you want to keep it soft and healthy feeling. And wash your hair in cold water because hot water strips away your color faster. Try to trim your hair too because that'll just keep the ends looking healthy and keep your hair less frizzy. Also, try to stay away from heat products. I always air dry my hair. I don't blow dry my hair and that's just, that's me. I'm just lazy for that stuff. And that's what keeps my hair pretty healthy even when before I had my bleached hair. Also, be aware if you are getting your hair bleached that there is going to be some breakage. And it might be scary. Like it was scary for me because I was like, oh, I'm losing all my hair. And I was afraid that my hair was going to be as thick as it was before. But it's just honestly your tips breaking. For me, my roots weren't bleached so I wasn't worried about like my hair falling out it was more like breaking because your hair is way more fragile when it's bleached opposed to when it's just natural i think that's all i have to cover for my hair right now i feel like i'm forgetting something if i forget something i'll put it in the description down below but anyways if you are planning to get your hair done i wish you good luck thank you guys for watching i know there's been some new subscribers so thank you welcome to my channel if you don't already know me just kidding i'm back guys i just want to fill you in on the hot pink shampoo that I got so I did get the extreme hot pink color wash it's the same brand as the one I was talking you telling you guys about the viral um wash so this is what it's like so I faded out the purple after like two washes and then after the first wash of that shampoo it came out like this and I think it's really nice it isn't necessarily hot pink because the the color I had underneath wasn't like extremely blonde so this is how it came out it's more like a fuchsia than anything I like the way it blends with this little brown part right here. I'm really happy with the results. Again, I love colored shampoo. Just to give you guys a little check in. And yeah, for real this time, thank you guys for watching and goodbye.